Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arquen, myself Arnab Kundu. Today I will discuss the topic computer viruses. Okay, so what is computer virus? Computer virus is a malicious program which affects the normal flow of the program. Okay, so I will discuss elaborately what is computer viruses. So go to the computer screen. So today I will discuss the topic computer virus. Okay. At first, we should know what is computer virus. A computer virus is a malicious program that self-replicates by copying itself to another program. Okay. In other words, the computer virus spreads by itself into other executable code or documents. Okay. The purpose of creating a computer virus is to infect vulnerable systems gain admin control and steal user sensitive data right hackers design computer viruses with malicious intent and prey on online users by tricking them right so if we think about the biological virus the kind that makes us sick okay it's persistently nasty hampers us from functioning normally and often requires something powerful to get rid of it okay a computer virus is very similar designed to replicate relentlessly computer viruses infect our programs and files alter the way our computer operates or stop it from working altogether. Okay, that means a computer virus is a type of computer program that, when executed, replicates itself by modifying other computer programs. Okay, and inserting its own code. When this replication succeeds, the affected areas are then said to be infected with a computer virus. Okay. Now, I talk about the history of computer virus, okay? In 1971, Bob Thomas of BNN Technologies wrote a program known as Creeper System, okay? A self-replicating program to test John von Neumann's theory, which was published as an article in 1949, okay? Since 1987, when a virus infected ARPANET, a vast network used by the Department of Defense and many universities, many antivirus programs were developed, which periodically checks the computer system in search of viruses. Okay. Gradually, the battle between viruses and antivirus came to more prominent role, which we see nowadays. Okay. So actually what happened, the first computer virus called the Creeper system was an experimental self-replicating virus released in 1971. Okay. Now I talk about the another thing which is my doom virus. Okay. Computer viruses cost an estimated $55 billion each year in cleanup and repair costs. Okay. The biggest computer virus ever is the my doom virus, which did an estimated 38 billion dollar in damages in 2004 right other notables are the sobic worm at 30 billion dollar and the clench worm at 19.8 billion dollar okay the another question should arise how does a computer virus find us even if we are careful still we can pick up computer viruses through normal web activities like sharing music files or photos with other users visiting an infected website right opening spam email or an email attachment okay downloading free games toolbars media players and other system utilities installing mainstream software applications without thoroughly reading license agreements okay now talk about the another question what does a computer virus do? Some computer viruses are programmed to harm 
our computer by damaging programs, deleting files, or reformatting the hard drive. Others simply replicate themselves or flood a network with traffic, making it impossible to perform any internet activity. Okay, even less harmful computer viruses can significantly disturb our system's performance, snapping computer memory, and causing frequent computer crashes. Okay, now talk about symptoms of a computer virus. Our computer may be infected if we recognize any of these malware symptoms like slow computer performance, abnormalities will be there in computer behavior, unexplained data loss, computer crashes in frequent intervals. Okay, traversal of virus is concerned. Viruses travel through flash drives, CD drives, pen drives, the internet, etc. Virus code gets replicated when copied by users. Okay, even documents like Word, Excel, Notepad do carry viruses when these files get affected. Okay, now the another part is that how to protect against computer viruses. When we arm ourselves with information and resources, we are wiser about computer security threats and less vulnerable to threat tactics. Okay, take these steps to safeguard your PC with the best computer virus protection. Okay, and these are the points like use antivirus protection and a firewall, get anti-spyware software, always keep our antivirus protection and anti-spyware software up to date. Okay, update our operating system regularly, increase our browser security settings, avoid questionable websites, only download software from sites you trust, carefully evaluate free software and file sharing applications before downloading them, don't open messages from unknown senders okay immediately delete messages that suspect to be spam okay now we talk about types of computer viruses a computer virus is one type of malware that inserts its virus code to multiply itself by altering the programs and applications the computer gets infected through the replication of malicious code Computer viruses come in different forms to infect the system in different ways. Find some of most common type of computer viruses are boot sector virus. What it the virus do? This type of virus infects the master boot record and it is challenging and a complex task to remove this virus. Okay, next one direct action virus. This is also known as non-resident virus. It gets installed or stays hidden in a computer memory. Okay, next is resident virus. Unlike direct action viruses, resident viruses get installed on the computer. It is difficult to identify the virus and it is even difficult to remove a resident virus. Okay, next one is the multipartite virus. This type of virus spreads through multiple ways, right? It infects both the boot sector and executable files at the same time. Okay. Next one, polymorphic virus. These type of viruses are difficult to identify with a traditional antivirus program. This is because a polymorphic viruses alters its signature pattern whenever it replicates. Okay. Next one, override virus. This type of virus deletes all the files that it infects. The only possible mechanism to remove is to delete the infected files and the end user has to lose all the contents in it. Okay, next one, space filler virus. This is also called cavity viruses. This is called so as they fill up the empty spaces between the coat and hence does not cause any damage to the file. Okay, next one, file infector. The file infector computer virus attacks itself with the executable programs such as word processor, spreadsheets, applications, and computer games. This virus overrides the code or inserts infected code into an executable file. Okay, next one, macrovirus. 
The macrovirus is written in the macro language, which is used for software programs. This virus targets those applications and software which contain macros. Okay. And next one, browser hijacker. The browser hijacker is a malware program. It can modify the web browser settings without the user's permission and redirect the user to the websites. But the user is not intended to visit. Okay. Now I talk about countermeasures against computer virus. Use the recommended antivirus and firewall protection. Buy and use anti-spyware software. Increase browser security setting to protect your PC from online threats and viruses. Update your antivirus and firewalls. Don't open attachments or emails from an unknown sender. Okay, next part. Distinction between computer viruses and worms. Viruses are typically attached to an executable file or a Word document. They often spread via P2P file sharing, infected websites and email attachment downloads. Okay, once a virus finds its way onto our system, it will remain dormant until the infected host file or program is activated. Okay, which in turn makes the virus active enabling it to run and replicate on our system okay in the other hand worms don't need a host program in order for them to run self replicate and propagate once a worm has made its way onto our system usually via a network connection or as a downloaded file it can then make multiple copies of itself and spread via the network or internet connection infecting any inadequately protected computers and servers on the network because each subsequent copy of a network worm can also self-replicate. Infections can spread very rapidly via the internet and the computer networks. Okay. Now we talk about what is Trojan horse. A Trojan horse or Trojan is a type of malware that is often disguised as legitimate software. Trojans can be employed by cyber thieves and hackers trying to gain access to users' systems. Users are typically tricked by some form of social engineering into loading and executing Trojans on their systems. Okay, once activated. Trojans can enable cyber criminals to spy on us, steal our sensitive data and gain backdoor access to our system. This action can include deleting data, blocking data, modifying data, copying data and disturbing the performance of the computers or computer networks. Okay. Unlike computer viruses and worms, Trojans are not able to self replicate. Okay, now we talk about other part of the Trojan horse. Trojans are classified according to the type of actions that they can perform on our computer. And these are the different types. One is backdoor. A backdoor Trojan gives malicious user remote control over infected computer. Next one, exploit. Exploits are programs that contain data or code that takes advantage of a vulnerability within application software that is running on our computer. Okay. Next one, rootkit. Rootkits are designed to conceal certain objects or activities in our system. Next one, Trojan Banker. Trojan Banker programs are designed to steal our account data for online banking systems, e-payment systems and credit or debit cards. Okay. Next one, Trojan DDoS means Daniel of Service. These programs conduct denial of service attacks against a targeted web address. Next one, Trojan Downloader. Trojan Downloaders can download and install new versions of malicious program onto our computer, including Trojans and Adware. Next one, Trojan Dropper. These programs are used by hackers in order to install Trojans and viruses or to prevent the detection of malicious programs. Next one, Trojan Ransom. 
this type of trojan can modify data on our computer so that our computer does not run correctly or we can no longer use specific data next one trojan mail finder these programs can harvest email addresses from your computer next one trojan spy trojan spy programs can spy on how we are using our computer for example by tracking the data we enter via our keyboard taking screenshots or getting a list of running applications okay now talk about another part is a malware malware is a collective name for a number of malicious software variants including viruses ransomware and spyware shortened for malicious software malware typically consists of code developed by cyber attackers designed to cause extensive damage to data and systems or to gain unauthorized access to a network okay malware is any software intentionally designed to cause damage to a computer server client or computer network a wide variety of malware types exist including computer viruses worms trojan horses ransomware spyware adware rogue software whipper and scareware okay now we talk about types of malware there are a number of different ways of categorizing malware the first is by how the malicious software spreads we have already heard the word virus trojan and worm used interchangeably but as a semantic explains three different ways malware can infect target computers number 1 a worm is a standalone piece of malicious software that reproduces itself and spreads from computer to computer next one virus a virus is a piece of computer code that inserts itself within the code of another standalone program then forces that program to take malicious action and spread itself next one trojan a trojan is a program that cannot reproduce itself but masquerades as sometimes the user wants and tricks them into activating it so it can do its damage and spread okay now we talk about the another part ransomware ransomware is a flavor of malware that encrypts your hard drives files and demands a payment usually in bitcoin in exchange for the decryption key several high profile malware outbreaks of the last few years such as petra are ransomware without the decryption key it is mathematically impossible for victims to regain access to their files so called scareware is a short of shadow version of ransomware it claims to have taken control of your computer and demands a ransom but actually is just using tricks like browser redirect loops to make it seem as if it is done more damage than it really has and unlike ransomware can be relatively easily disabled okay now we are provide a table where we define the three different part trojan virus and worm as a definition is concerned the trojan malicious program used to control a victim's computer from a remote location what is the definition of virus self replicating program that attaches itself to other programs and files worm illegitimate programs that replicate themselves usually over the network what the purpose trojan steal sensitive data spy on the victim's computer etc what is the purpose of virus disturb normal computer usage corrupt user data etc what is the purpose of worm install backdoor on victim's computer slow down the user's network etc okay i hope that you have understood today's topic for more videos keep watching my channel technical arquin thank you and bye bye